Street for Sabonis. Ball right side. Count that bucket. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. The Supersonics have gone only one for six here in the second half. Ball against Monk. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. At the line for the Supersonics. Malik Monk at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one's off. Davis, he's checked in for Butler. Hits the second from the line. He really wanted to capture the lead there, but on the bright side, at least the game is tied. Here's Davis. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Seattle shooting only 26% for this game. Not good. Out to Beasley. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Hamptons checked in for Monk. Now into the lineup for Seattle. R.J. Hampton. For Las Vegas, they've gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. Inside. That's good from Okongwu. On the assist by Ball. Okongwu's got eight. This is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just took him a while to heat up. Kicks it out to Warren. Six to shoot. shot clock but it's off the mark for Las Vegas they've gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter Davis that's good I mean it's some good stuff out here five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes Beasley outside pass to Warren here's Holmgren back to Warren tipped away and he's all alone here's Ball he lays it in off the breakaway. Ball's got his second basket. Here's Hampton, pounded by Ball. And looks like an illegal pick was set against the ref's attention. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Anthony's checked in for Seattle. Green comes in for Beasley. For three, Smith. Pure from three-point range. Smith's got his second basket on the night. And all second half, they haven't gotten stops with any consistency. Holmgren. Oh, no good. The dry spell continues. Here's Thompson. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. That one on Anthony. Shooting for Las Vegas. Thompson at the line for two. That free throw is good from Thompson. Yurt Sevens checked in for Hampton. Both free throws good from Thompson. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. Coach definitely wants to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort.
He's checked in for Williams. Here's Monk. Half to the outside. Pass to Green. Just five on the clock. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Shoots over Thompson. Anthony misses. <laughs> they are really struggling to stop this run. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Now here's Smith. They lead by 11. Largest margin of the game. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. Shooting for Las Vegas. Smith taking two shots. And he drops the first. And so he makes both from the line. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. Here we go. All alone. And the basket is good. He got it to go and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up. An opportunity in a three-point play. Javante Green. Second personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Las Vegas. Lonzo Ball. At the line for one. That one misses. Free throw good violation. The ball goes to Seattle. A minute 31 left in the third quarter. Green, the pass to your seven. Monk with it. They get the rebound. It's good on the putback. Woo. Hard work creating the second chance opportunity. Thompson outside. No good from outside. Seattle shooting a poor 25% for this game so far. It's Monk on the wing, covered by Smith. Just five to shoot. Off target from three-point range. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. And his rhythm has been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Here's ball. A Kongwu inside. Smith outside. Here's the three. Anthony grabs the board. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First man, the defender really went after him. Shooting for Seattle, Javante Green taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one misses. Both teams deciding to change it up. And he sinks the second. Now Smith. Give him eight points now. Great D that time from Monk. And so it's Las Vegas going into the break up 12. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Malik Monk is out there with Malik Beasley. Then there's Jalen Smith, and it's Williams in at the three. Fires from 14. That one's wide left. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Ball outside. Pass to Butler. Six on the shot clock. Monk grabs the miss. Trying to close out. You got to know who's hot and who's not. Here's Williams. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Super Sonics. Jalen Williams. Two shots. First free throw is good. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Well, Las Vegas is shooting just 31% in today's game. Not great. The kick out to Ball. And Ball throws it down. He's just an aggressive finisher there inside. Hey, when you got bounce like that, you feel like you can take on anybody. Now here's Williams. Over Butler. And it's blocked by Butler. Known for being a strong defender, Butler takes pride in blocking shots. Seattle foul. Malik Monk. Second personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Las Vegas. Ball. Two shots. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Akangu's checked in for green. So Ball nails both of them. Well, the Supersonics are shooting only 23% so far. Beasley outside. Pass to Holmgren. With a nine-footer. Clock at four. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. There's Ball with a three. And they'll get another chance. to the middle. Second chance shot. That's good from a Kongu. On the assist by Ball. He's caught fire here in the second half. Better late than never. The Kongu's gone. Five of nine shooting from the floor. It's time to talk this over and try to put a stop to this run. Because right now it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball.
the home team on D. Outside, Williams. The shot that time, not on target. Sub bonus with some nice Ds. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Here's Ball. He's off on the layup. The Supersonics have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. Here's Monk. Akongwu with the rebound. Akongwu's got seven rebounds in the game. Still looking for his first make, and they could really use the help right now. Here's Sabonis, and they pick up two. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Pass to Williams. They need this. Ball with the rebound. For Las Vegas, they've gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got his sixth rebound on the night. Well, that was clearly a foul. First personal foul, second team foul. At the line for the Super Sonics, Malik Beasley at the line for two. Shooting two. That's good from Beasley. Both good from the line that time. Well, since Commissioner Silver took over, Grant, it seems the league's dress code is now leaving more, let's say, uh, wiggle room. You good with that? Yeah, a lot of wiggle room, at least compared to when I played when it was more of a business casual environment. But I think it's great. Let the players be themselves. Let them be authentic. And I think in a weird kind of way, it endears these players to the fans at home watching on TV. Like a bunch of runway models. That's not before and after every game. No question. No question. When a team is underperforming, coaches are often the first people called into question. Is that fair, Smitty? Uh, in some cases, it is fair. But I'll break it down like this, B.A. It always starts at the top. From coaching to your best players, they're always going to get the blame. First one falls for him. goes in two from the line that time for Las Vegas they've gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter pass to a Kongu gets the bucket and the foul Monk. and so he's picked up his final foul and he'll sit the rest of this one out with the depth they have at that spot they're more equipped than most teams to handle that kind of loss one shot Free throw, no good. And attention has been given to the interactions between fans and the players. Smitty, sometimes it feels more chippy than in years past. I totally agree, B.A., and I think what happens is fan interaction is getting way out of hand. They have to understand it's just the game. It's getting too personal. Now here's Butler. With the fadeaway. He goes up again. Butler on the wing. Clock at six. Down low. Here's Ball. 
They had a number of cracks at it. Just came away empty-handed. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. Check. And that one's good. Holmgren. Back in the day, someone would have blocked him out. But times have changed. Now here's Ball. Pass to Okongwu. It's tipped. Butler against Williams. Now here's Warren. And he banks in the layup. Yeah, just outworking the coverage. Warren enjoys going up strong and cashing in despite the contact. Pass to Ball. Back to Butler. Ball against Beasley. To the paint. Here's a Kongwu. Yes, sir. And it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got five assists tonight. Yeah. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. The wheels have come off a little bit leading up to this timeout. He is taking some low percentage shots, and it's killing the floor of their offense. More motion, more ball movement. That should lead to better looks for him and for the entire team. standout element of his game tonight was his offense and his ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoops. You can just tell how relieved he is to be playing like this again. Before this, he was weathering a rough patch, but now that is all behind him after this performance. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Ball finds Butler. Ball outside. Pass to Sabonis. Comes up empty down low. Seattle shooting a rough 25% from the field in this game. And here's Warren. Hounded by Ball. Warren against Ball. Fires from deep. And they recover it. Wow, another opportunity. Just everything going their way. Pretty much the story of this game. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night. Now here's Ball. And there's the lob. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Ball against Beasley. No good on the shot. Good D by Ball. Grant wouldn't be a bad idea here to slow it down. The yeah, coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. Second personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Las Vegas. Onyeka Onkongwu. At the line for two. Two shots. No good on that one. So both teams changing it up here. Good on the second one. There's 37 seconds left in the final quarter. He's going for the lob. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Ball outside. 
A Kongu, high post. Here's seven on him. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws. We'll follow that one. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Las Vegas. On Yeka, on Kongu. Taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. He's off on the second. Goes up on the wing. And that one's good. Green. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. A competitive game. You have to feel like this crowd gave them a little extra edge. Yeah, they really fed off the energy. You saw their activity level go up. Just a tremendous performance. And that about wraps it up. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. Greg, father time is un...
undefeated, and every player has to make the decision when it's time to retire. How big a factor was age for you? Well, you don't want to leave anything on the table, but your body will tell you when it's time. I know that was the case for me. Well, they've got Jonas Valanciunas. Jake Milton is out there with Conley. Then it's Jones. And it's Daniels in at the three spot. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. A nice portion of their points have been earned at the line, and they've done an exceptional job creating havoc for the defense and getting fouled. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle, the hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. That free throw good from Porzingis. Kristaps Porzingis, throughout his career, continues to look for good health. And when he is that, he's a force. And both free throws good for Porzingis. The Pelicans have gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Lewis passes to Daniels. And it's blocked. Bain against Hernan Gomez. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, here's a look at some of the stats for Jordan Poole. At the line for the away team, Kessler taking two shots. And he can't get the first one. We know a lot of teams using former NBA officials now working as consultants to teach their players how the refs see the game. I guess always looking for that edge. Yeah, Kevin, I think it's a great idea because philosophically sometimes as the rules evolve, players got to learn how to evolve with them. So not getting the calls you might expect. Also how you communicate with officials. I think all of that stuff plays a big role and just furthering that dynamic between the officials and the players. Shot clock at three. Great positioning on the putback. Sellers got his first points of the night. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. Hero. And it's Daniels with the rebound. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Here's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the teams that have been money from the foul line since the All-Star break. They are really dialed in at the line, especially since the break. I mean, really shooting an impressive percentage from the line. And guys, this is where their depth really comes into play. They, they've got such talent at that position. They'd love to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop off. And the first one at the line is good. McCollum's checked in for New Orleans. And so Zeller nails both of them. And uh, Oakland shooting 43% for the game. The feed to Abdia over Zeller, and the shot is long. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. So it's Oakland now. The Pelicans make their last shot. Cool with it. And you know the points will always be there for him. He's averaging just a shade under 20 points a game right now. Outside, Bain. Tries again. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with the soft touch to match. Now here's Zeller. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. 
Avdia kicks to Poole. Here's Payne. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second personal. During Desmond Bain's first season, Greg, he shot over 43% from three-point territory. And that was top 10 all time for a rookie. And Bain's three-point numbers went up in his second season. From the start of his career, Desmond's been a premier shooter. Two shots. Relax on the first. The first one falls. Terrence Ross has checked in for Shake Milton. And Bain drops them both. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the Pelicans. Their next game is at the American Airlines Center in Dallas for a game with the Mavericks. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. In recent years, the NBA has opened several international academies. Commissioner Adam Silver says huge numbers of people are playing basketball, but unless you take the best at a young age, get them facing elite competition and training under high-pressure circumstances, they won't develop into NBA-caliber players. Kevin? Well, opening doors, David, that's always a good thing. Expansion. Thank you. Jones checked in for the Pelicans. And Oakland with a change here, too. Najee's checked in. After what we saw from Simons last year and the way he broke out offensively, just becoming one of those guys that plays with force when he has the ball. Now here's Valanciunas. 28 points for him. Here's Ross. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second personal foul. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. At the line for your Pelicans, Terrence Ross. Taking two shots. That free throw good from Ross. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. And the Pelicans making a change here. Herning Gomez is checked in. And both free throws good for Ross. And uh, Oakland shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high-quality shots. Now, here's Avdia. Seven points in the game. Poole with no one around. Jordan. And it falls over the rim and in. Poole's got his second basket of the game. Pass to Ross. Trying to find Hernan Gomez. It's it to him. Back to Ross. Three-pointer. Pelicans keep it alive. And the offensive rebounding, really, the story here today. Even with the big lead, they're still showing more hustle on the board. Uh, the young Spaniard, Hernan Gomez, a good finisher around the basket. Now, here's Poole. Naji passes to Simons. Over McCollum. That one doesn't drop. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. Ross on the wing. Guarded by Poole. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. And to this point on the season, guys, 80% from the line. He's done a really good job. At the line for two. First one falls for him. Yeah. 
he's off on the second. Well, back in 2017, Denny played professionally in his home country, representing Israeli basketball. He was a stud. Well, for New Orleans, shooting it quite well in this third quarter, 53%, and the offense is rolling. Back to McCollum. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Anferni Simon. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And you know what? The work he's put in at the line starting to pay off. How about 78% on the season? No good on that one. And for Abdiya, he managed Brent to rack up three consecutive Israeli League championships. Yeah, he really was the go-to guy, and he became the youngest MVP in league history at the tender age of 19. So doing all of that before entering the 2020 draft had a lot of NBA teams intrigued that, look, this guy has played in big games and in big moments. Could he do that for us? And he's good on the second. Yeah, C.J. McCollum really one of the more unique scorers in the league, and it has a lot to do with the peanut butter smoothness he has handling the ball, being That's on great, great balance, and being one step ahead of the defense. And he has to take that long, slow walk back to the bench here. He'll watch the rest of this one from the sideline. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. And guys, don't think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Oakland making a switch here. Heroes checked in. McCollum kicks to Zeller. Pass to Ross. Kicks it out to McCollum. Shoots over Hero. And the basket by McCollum. McCollum's got six here in this quarter. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. The pass to Naji. Back to Hero. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Hero's got five. Hero sticking with it through contact. That's not easy. McCollum against Hero. Here's McCollum. Shoots over Hero. Here's Fernand Gomez. And it is good at the buzzer. Wow. Resourceful move there, ending the period on a high note. Great way to end the quarter there. Team is pumped up. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We've got more in store for you right after this. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And so in the game for Oakland. Tatum out there with Hero. Then it's Avdia. And it's Bassi in at the five. Roman the paint. Now here is Hernan Gomez. Hilton the pass to come. Shoots over Hero. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And so much great talent coming into the league, Greg, every year. That 2021 draft class, in particular, looks very strong. Absolutely. Anytime you got just a couple potential stars, but from the looks of it, upwards of five, you know it's been a special draft. And the shot goes in. That's what Hero is. He's a shot maker, a guy who figures out ways to put the ball into the bucket. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Now here's Ross. A step back shot here. And it's off the back rim. No good. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Shot's good by Hero. 
And the defense knows that Hero can get that jumper working from just about anywhere. Passes it to Milton. Now Ross guarded by Tatum. Milton the pass to Hernan Gomez. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Oh, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. First team foul. At the line for New Orleans, Billy Hernan Gomez. Taking two shots. And the first one drops. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. And so he makes both from the line. And player nicknames are a fun part of covering the games. Now a lot of guys, GA, are just going with their initials, like KD or AD or KG. <laughs> Do we need more creativity? I don't know, Kevin. Maybe the league could give guys a cash bonus for picking a nickname. But initials excluded. That might spark some creativity. Daniels is checked in for New Orleans. Shooting one. And free throw, good from Avdia. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Conley the pass to Ross. Conley scanning the floor. Count it. And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. Tatum. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Baines check in for Oakland. Every year. Mike Conley had an interesting title. The best player to never make an all-star game. Well, that changed in 2021 when Conley was named an all-star. Free throw good, Conley. For Mike Conley, year 13 was lucky for him, going to that first All-Star game. And that was the longest wait ever to become an All-Star. Conley, 33 at the time of that first selection, just shows you the work ethic of Mike, always trying to improve. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Denny Avdia. Denny Avdia picks one up. And in this era of player movement, Greg, we're seeing guys often pick teams on fit or style of play. When they look at that, what are they looking into? You want to have fun coming to work every day, Kevin. I mean, the money they're making, most guys are going to be set for life. But I think they recognize it's about the journey and who you have the opportunity to take that journey with. That free throw good from Ross. Yeah, good job bringing that free throw percentage up here in the second half. Doing a great job at the line. And both free throws good for Ross. And one difference to this half is that when they get to the line, they're converting. Now, here's Avdia. He's covered by Daniels. It's blocked. It's not with extreme athleticism that really gets to that shot, but the anticipation and the timing, those help. Here's Ross. And the Pelicans miss again. And so it's Bain who brings up the ball for Oakland. On the money with the open jump. Bain's got 28 points for the game. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody 
standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. No question he got bumped on that shot. Second personal foul. We're seeing a lot of pretty lively pregame dance routines from the players. You got any of that in your repertoire, say, before we begin a broadcast? No, Kevin, Kevin, I think pretty soon we should work out a few sequences. You know, get ourselves fired up. You game? No. Come on, Greg, I'm not sure about that. But you, you go ahead and do it. The first free throw is good. And as a team, they're hovering around the high 80s from the free throw line. They've gotten better as the game has gone along, which is exactly what you want to see. And so he hits both. For Oakland, they've gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Bain looking around. There's Hero with a three. Pelicans with the rebound. And Gomez has got double digit rebounds now in the game. Now here's Ross. He's guarded closely. The baseline J off the mark. Been a struggle for him tonight, but they can make this lead hold up. He can just chalk this up as one of those nights. They get it back. Aji, they shoot again. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And guys, this is where their depth really comes into play. They, they've got such talent at that position. They'd love to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop-off. Two shots. The last on the first. No good on the free throw. And the media is able to vote on awards like all rookie. But, Greg, those awards can end up determining a player's max salary. Any concern there? No doubt there is, but somebody has to decide those awards, right? And no matter who it is, there's always going to be some pushback. So as long as contracts are tied to them, that power will be in someone else's hands. Good on the second free throw. The Pelicans have gone just one of six in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. Conley against Hero. Five to shoot. From deep. And the Pelicans miss again. Now one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. And tenacious play there from Hero in the paint, refusing to let the foul hold back his shot. At the line for the away team, Tyler Hero. Taking two shots. The first one falls. And, and Hero, one of those guys you just rely on coming in and giving you that offensive pop. He does a lot of things for his team on that end of the floor. And Hero drops them both. Well, Greg, we're seeing high schoolers now making six figures to play basketball. I bet you wouldn't have minded that in your time, would you? Uh, I tell you what, it beats delivering the newspaper, right? <laughs> it's still fresh and, and developing, but a lot of different opportunities are emerging. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Well for New Orleans, shooting with confidence, 50% from the field so far. And it goes down two points. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Now, here's Bain. Over Daniels. And he overshot that one, missing. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession, if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Abdiya. Here's Hero. And it's Daniels with the rebound. Daniels has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game.
from 12 feet out, and the jumper is good. And when he breaks out the crossover, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his way. Stolen by Michael Conley. Looking to end his cold spell. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Second personal foul. And for a lot of up-and-coming teams, getting better defensively is the key to reaching, Greg, that next level. That being considered, what's the first step in that improvement? A lot of times, it's bringing in a great defender, like a Pat Beverly or an Andre Iguodala, a defensive anchor who also inspires his teammates to take that challenge. That free throw missing. Still a solid point guard in this league. When Conley is healthy, he makes a considerable impact on both ends. The Pelicans making a switch here. Zeller's checked in. And the second free throw, good. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. Conley gets the bucket. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Now, here's Bain. Shot clock at six. Here is Daniels. Guarded by Bain. Misses from short range. Not his best night from the field, but looking for Daniels. other ways yeah. and finding them so he can chip in. Yeah. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Now, here's Avdia. Guarded closely. There's Hero with a three. Cans it from downtown. Three points. Hero's got 11 points here in just the second half. Conley kicks to Daniels. Inside. Here's Zeller. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. And Matador defense. That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, it feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Here's Bassett. Now Bain. Back to Hero. And Oakland hits again from deep. Well, he just nailed his second three of the half, guys. I'd be very aware of that if I were the defense right now. Hero against Conley. Hernan Gomez. And finished off by Hernan Gomez. Man, he's a pure point guard with, with terrific vision. Conley finds open teammates at times before they realize they're open. Now, Hero. Here's Bain. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got four rebounds in this game. And here's Daniels. And they call an illegal screen here. And for a while there, Greg, it seemed like we were entering the super team era. But lately, homegrown talent. Players you draft and develop or sign and develop seems to be the way teams are going. Yeah, and it's not easy to maintain a culture when you're bringing in stars from outside. We've seen some cautionary examples here of late. Now, Hero... target with his three. The Pelican shooting 52% for the four. Nice work so far from them. Conley gets the bucket. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Hero kicks to Avdia. Hernan Gomez covering to the paint. Here's Hero. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And as Hero's body matures more and more, his strength is going to help him on plays like this where he gets contact. Tyler Hero at the line for one. That's good from Hero. So Conley will bring the ball up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Pass to Daniels. 
New Orleans moving the ball around. Fires for three. Conley's shot is off. And uh, Oakland shooting at 42% in this final quarter. The pass to Abdiya. On the wing, Bain. He's covered by Daniels. Now here is Conley. Greg, you read about Jimmy Butler starting his own coffee company, and he did that in the NBA bubble, and he drinks, he said, about, about five cups of coffee a day. Do a lot of NBA players drink coffee to keep them going and get that extra burst? Absolutely. Yeah, I remember drinking coffee on the pitch late in my career. I, it's kind of a comfort food. It warms you up a little bit. And all good things that can get you ready for action, I'm for. Oakland making a switch here. Bassey's checked in. And he knocks down the first one. All free throws good from Daniels. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter. Hero against Conley. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Hero right now working himself into a lather, staying aggressive and drawing the defense's attention. Greg, you think of everything that goes into making it to the NBA as a player. Did it come easy for you, or was it all work? It's easy, really, to overlook the grind, but when you love the game, all those hours in the lab don't feel quite like work at least not until you start getting a little longer in the two he hits the second from the line now the team's struggling to come back